The green flag is a, a really important icon in Scratch and it's used to indicate that the project's going to start. Now we've nearly finished off our little mini project here, but we've got a few problems. If somebody's using this for the first time, we really don't want the butterfly to be apparent to begin with. We'd like it to be the small caterpillar. And likewise, we don't want our fruit to be eaten straight away. So the green flag is the one that we use to set, to set things up um, as an event. Um, and we need to set things up so they're, they're refreshed. So I'm actually, let's start with the caterpillar. Um, at the moment, I've got an action. When the sprites click, go to the next costume and play a sound. I'm going to put another event on there now. And it's going to be when the green flag is clicked. And when the green flag is clicked, what I'd like it to do is on the looks front to go to the first costume. So rather than going to next costume, I'm going to tell it to switch to Caterpillar, which is my first costume. If I look at the costumes there, Caterpillar is the first one. Now the other thing that would be really good to do, I think, is just for the, the hung, very hungry Caterpillar to say a little welcome. So let's put it on for four seconds. And I'm going to say... Welcome to the very hungry caterpillar. Um, lost it off the edge of the screen there, never mind. Let's put another say on after that. And I'm going to put in try clicking on different things. And one final thing I'm actually going to put in and say enjoy. So hopefully when I press the green flag it will reset to the caterpillar and say welcome. Right, just what I wanted it to do. Now all I need to do is repeat it for the, the other sprites. So let's go to sprite 2 and do a similar thing on events. When the green flag's clicked we would like it to go to not costume 2, which is currently on, but costume 1. And again, I can repeat this for the pear and the apple, but I'm just going to drag the code in. And hopefully, yeah, that should have reset it for all of them. Just a bit of a shortcut there. So let's go full screen and see what happens if we hit our green flag. Hopefully everything should be in the restart, in the start position. There we go. All our fruit is back to its original position. And I've hopefully made an enjoyable little interactive activity for children to explore.